All right, um, welcome to my gear video. Uh, first of all, I just want to say that I am not ultralight. I don't even know if I qualify as light. I'm just kind of an average backpacker who started last year. So a lot of my gear is kind of just the stuff that I got early on and I'm not really willing to spend the like 500 bucks to get something new. So as things wear out, it will get lighter. Um, I'd say I haven't weighed it all yet, but I'd say my base weight is probably around 20, 21 pounds. When I normally go on weekend trips, it ends up being more like 15 pounds. So I'm adding a bunch of weight for the John Muir Trail. Um, I just decided I would rather be safe than sorry. Uh, I don't want to have to leave um, the trail because I didn't pack something. So I would rather pack a lot more weight and never have to turn around. Um, rather than deciding, oh, I'm not going to get this safety gear because I don't think I'll need it, and then I do when I have to turn around. Um, so yeah, let's start. Um, so my pack is heavy. It is the Osprey Atmos, which is actually the guy's backpacking backpack, but it fits me well, and I got it at an REI garage sale, which is why I have it. I love this pack. Um, it's heavy, it's four and a half pounds, but it fits really, really well. And because of the suspension system, I honestly don't feel the weight. Um, I can have 35, 40 pounds on my back and it just feels like I have like a snug belt on. Like I don't feel anything back here. So yeah, I mean, it's gonna be actually really hard for me to ever move on from this pack because I really, really, really do love it. Um, my sleeping bag is actually a quilt. It's Enlightened Equipment. Um, Revelation, 10 degrees. I really like it. I was nervous about getting one, um, and it's been awesome. And I would recommend getting the wide. That's what I have. It just gives me a little bit more security of being able to tuck the sleeping bag underneath myself when I need to, when it gets really cold at night. It helps with the drafts. Um, I can even completely wrap myself up in it if I need to. Um, I'm just realizing I forgot to put my pad out. So my pad is the Z Light Soul, which is not a blow up pad, but just the, uh, it has like little ruffles. It's yellow and gray. I love that pad. I don't personally like having to blow things up and take it down again and blow it up and put it down again. So I get annoyed by that. And I actually prefer sleeping a little harder. So it's perfect. I love it. It's cheap. Um, my tent is the Quarter Dome One. I definitely could go a lot lighter with that. That's one of those. I got that at a garage sale for 60 bucks and it's good for 60 bucks. So I'm not willing to spend much more um, when it's really adequate. Um, it already has holes in it and stuff a little bit. So when it really falls apart, I will get like a duplex or something. So that'll be nicer. Um, I am bringing micro spikes. Right now there's a lot of trail reports about some people bringing them, some people not bringing them. Um, some people needing them, some people saying they don't need them. So I'm just going to bring them. I don't want to get into a situation where I get to an unsafe spot and I'm like, well, dress, now turn around because I didn't bring my micro spikes. So I am bringing those. I am opting against bringing the ice axe. It seems like I won't need any more. Hopefully I don't regret it. Um, I am also bringing a thermal light reactor, which is a, um, bag liner. Um, I just find that with the quilt, um, I do sometimes wake up at night with drafts, um, if it like shifts underneath me and stuff. And so the quilt just completely takes that away. I can sleep to, um, you know, 20 degrees Fahrenheit really comfortably and warm and I'm a cold sleeper. So if you are a guy or just somebody who sleeps warmer, you probably wouldn't need something like that. For me, I'm it's it's worth the extra weight, plus with my quilt and the liner, it's still less than most sleeping bags. So um, I really like bringing that. Um, right here I have my technology and I am bringing a small waterproof bag for my technology. So I have my phone, which is my main camera and GPS and all that stuff. Um, I am bringing a, um, Battery pack, I'm choosing not to go with the solar power because I've just heard a lot of things about people having a hard time with it, especially when it gets cloudy. Um, I am bringing an inReach. This is mostly to satisfy my mom's concerns that <laughs> I'm not going to die out there. So um, yeah, I have this. It's a good 
backup plan, I like the idea that I can um, make arrangements by uh, basically texting when I'm out there if I'm running late or need something looked up for me. And I like that I can call for help for myself or somebody else um, and also contact my family and be like, hey, I'm not calling SOS for myself. This is for someone else because I know my mom would freak out. Um, for shoes, I have Cascades right here. I really like them so far. Haven't given me blisters yet, but I haven't really tested them to huge lengths. I also have um, Dirty Girl Gators, which I love. They're amazing for dusty areas that keep your feet really clean. Um, normally when I go backpacking, I do not bring camp shoes. I don't find I need them. However, with trail reports and stuff, um, everything is wet out there and I have had one trip where just my socks were wet and everything was soaked um, all day and it didn't dry overnight. So I don't really want that. So I am bringing um, river shoes dash trail, I mean camp shoes. Um, I got these for six bucks at like a Chinese knockoff website um, and they weigh three ounces each. So six ounces together. So it's a great deal. They're super comfortable. They're like socks. They have a um, hard sole. So I think I can use these both as creek crossing shoes and around camp so that I can just slip off my wet shoes and put on something that is dry. So that'll also help with blisters. Um, really fast for my pack, I do have a um, liner for the inside, which is just a garbage bag and also a pack cover. Um, it's a little heavier, but I would rather have just double of stuff. I want to have um, the ability for some, a fail safe basically, the ability for something to fail and not be screwed by it. So I have something for both outside my pack and if that were to not work or if I would get wet by falling into a river uh, when I'm not wearing this, then I still also have my inside uh, protected and I'm not going to get like my quilt super wet which would be a problem. Um, I also just think that it's better to not get the pack wet. A lot of people would just have the garbage bag liner to save weight but then your pack is wet which is adding weight with water so I would rather have a little bit more weight that isn't water that is then reduced from how much water would be. Um, my water system, I have just bringing capacity for two liters because there's water everywhere out there. I have two smart water bottles um, and I have the regular Sawyer. Um, this ends up being my um, dirty water that I just kind of keep in there and then when I'm ready to drink I um, filter it into the other one which works really well um, and then I just refill it up like that. Um, I've only used it on one trip, but I really like it so far. I had the mini Sawyer before, and I, it just drove me crazy because I would just filter and filter and filter and filter and filter, and the stream was just so small. Um, so far, I'm really liking this a lot more. Uh, I also just have like a small little carabiner thing attached to the bottle, um, which is gonna allow me to attach it to my pack. I've just found that this one, because it's kind of long and big, it tends to fall out, and I don't want that to happen. Um, next, oh, I also am bringing Aquamira tablets along, even though I have, um, a filter, a uh, Sawyer filter. As said, it's good to have doubles of stuff because you don't want to get into a situation where the filter fails and now you're screwed. So, uh, I do have that. Um, sunscreen, bug spray, both important. I do have a, um, head net that I'm bringing along. It's super light, practically doesn't weigh anything, so it's worth having. Um, for my cooking system, I have a pocket rocket and that goes onto my um, gas over here. And then I, I really love this pot. It's basically a pot dash mug. So the lid um, has like, basically like a coffee cup kind of lid that you can drink hot liquids from. Um, so I eat out of here and cook with it. And it's great. Um, yeah, just like a spork, spoon, fork thing, and big lighter. I have two of these as well. Um, maybe you could tell what my favorite color is by some of these items. 
Um, all right, bathroom system. I have a deuce of spades, um, spade, shovel thing to make holes, cat holes that are six inches deep or more. Um, I find it works really well. It's super light. I can practically not feel it. Um, I bring wet wipes for uh, number two. You need less of it and it takes up way less room. Um, I normally don't do this, but I am going with the girl pee rag thing um, to save weight and supposedly it's super, like it sterilizes in the sun and is easy to use um and you can wash it and stuff like that away from streams and other things like that and i actually do have like one in every resupply so like every between four to seven days i'll have a new one so it's not going to get too nasty or anything um my this is not just first aid first aid toiletries medicine blister care everything like that is in here it's pretty heavy it is about a pound which is like more than half of what I would normally take to most um, backpacking trips. But again, I would just rather not have to turn around because something happens on the trail. So I'm bringing things that I normally don't bring. So for instance, um, I have um, like laxatives, which I probably won't need, but it will be good to have. And I have um, painkillers and things for nausea and sleeping tablets if I need it. Uh, my toiletries are just basic, you know, like toothpaste, toothbrush. Um, I have this, like, this is actually made up, so it's maybe a good idea for others. But I have one of those travel hairbrushes, but I took out just the little brush thingies. So this is, like, insanely light, um, and I like it better than using a comb. Um, I did do the thing of, like, chopping off my toothbrush to make, to save three grams um, and make it better. Um, and then, you know, you have to just pack for yourself. So what I'm bringing might be a lot more heavy than what you might need because my body has different needs than yours does. So for instance, um, a significant amount of weight that I am bringing is I'm bringing along a tea tape and a heel insert. Um, and the reason for that is because the last three months I've had problems with, um, Achilles tendonitis, um, and sometimes, uh, plantar fasciitis and so that's just again that could easily ruin my whole trip if I don't have something along to help with that so I'm bringing that along uh, I also have my maps in here hand sanitizer um, my lady products uh, we don't have to talk about that I am using the diva cup uh, because yeah I don't want to carry that stuff around um, I do have um, a bear can this is the Garcia which is not my first choice or second choice, but it was given to me as a birthday gift, so that is what I own for right now, and eventually I will spend the big bucks to have the significantly lighter um, can, but this works really well for now. Um, I have a headlamp, extra batteries. Um, I do have some luxury items, so I'm bringing a journal and a, uh, mechanical pencil so I don't have to think of, worry about sharpening it. Uh, I just like taking notes of things, um, both writing a journal and also like, I like stats. Like, oh, like I did 14 miles today and I did 13.5 the next day and I saw three bears and stuff like that. So I bring that along. Um, I also have a tiny um, four ounce Bible, um, just the New Testament. Could I use my phone for this? Yes, I could say four, four ounces that way, but um, my idea is basically I want to save battery as much as I can. Um, I anticipate that being my biggest um, problem, so I decided I did want to bring it along to be able to read and have quiet times, so yes, I am Christian. If you're not, that's fine. Um, and uh, yeah, have I thought about cutting out certain <laughs> parts of the Bible so it would be lighter and I could just have my favorite parts? Maybe, uh, but ultimately I decided that I probably shouldn't do that. So it is the whole four ounces uh, luxury item. Um, I am bringing three pairs of socks, which I normally don't 
Um, one of them is just a sleeping pair. I've already been on a trip where both of my pairs of socks got wet and it sucks. So it was nice to have a sleeping pair. So my um, hiking pair is darn tough. I love these. Um, completely changed my sock life. Like I use them for working out now too. I have like 10 pairs and they cost a, a lot so that and I'm pretty frugal so yeah by darn tough they're awesome they keep me cool when it's hot they keep me warm when it's cold they are decently comfortable when wet um and then I just have griffin or socks because I wanted to um I have a bandana this is teal for ladies of the John Muir trail um and you know this is just catch-all Blow your nose, wipe off your feet, um, wear it as a bandana, just lots of uses for a bandana. Um, this is my hat. My lightest hat was two ounces and this was 2.2 ounces, so I decided that I was allowed to have a little bit of bling for 0.2 ounces. Um, so I'm bringing that along. I have a super, super lightweight, um, Beanie, um, I'm going under the uneducated opinion that it's just better to have something on your head versus it being super heavyweight. We'll see how that works out for me, but this is significantly lighter than um, some of my other beanies. Um, rain gear, I have frog togs, the pants and um, shirt. Uh, they're super cheap. You can find them anywhere. They are um, lighter than most other rain gear. Um, so far it's worked well with me. for me. I look like a dork wearing it. It's okay. Um, and let's see what else do I have here. I have um, long, they're basically um, leggings and then a long sleeved shirt. These are supposed to be for sleeping but then also I can use it for if it's cold. Um, they're both really cheap, like I didn't buy specific gear. Uh, why do I have this one? Because it's bright green and I love bright green and that's literally the reason why I'm bringing it along. Uh, but you know, it's lightweight and stuff and dries quickly, it's performance gear. Um, I also have super lightweight shorts, like they weigh two ounces, they dry super quick. I really like them. Um, and then I have a super lightweight shirt. I bought this for $7 and it's my literally my favorite hiking shirt. So I'm like really mad that I didn't buy more of them. There was like five different colors. What was I thinking? Um, and then I'm bringing, you know, two pairs of underwear, one sports bra. Um, this is my down jacket, which is, um, the... Strat, Stratus Cloud, something like that. It's a cloud. Um, it's from REI. I really like it. It's super warm. Um, and yeah, I've even like, you know, been in light rain with it and it didn't affect the down, um, which is nice. I think, I don't remember exactly correctly, but I feel like it's supposed to be like a mix of down and synthetic. I could be wrong. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much, oh, um, here are my hiking poles. They're just the Costco ones, 35 bucks for decently light. Um, I wrap athletic tape around it as a easy way of accessing it, easy way of storing it. Um, that's mostly what I use for blisters and stuff like that. So that's what my green stuff is around it. Um, I am bringing small snow cups, things for walking through the snow. Um, the other thing about my pack, I have a, um, compass that I have, um, I put a key, key ring on it so it's attached so it's super convenient. I can just look at it while walking and navigate like that. I do plan on mostly using my GPS, but you never want to only have technology since that can fail or you can run out. Um, uh, overall I'm pretty happy with my gear. Um, I have some stuff that I don't need but I want them, so I'm bringing them. Um, I think overall I made good decisions as far as when to play it safe and when to chuck something that I really don't need. Um, and I'm really hoping that it's going to be a really successful trip that I don't ever have to turn around because I'm not prepared. And yeah.